This class we work out one problem. Two generators A and B are connected in parallel and supply a substation feeder. Rate of each generator is 50 MBA 11 kV 3 phase 50 Hz. They are connected in parallel. The positive sequence impedance of A and B is equal to J.6 ohms. Negative sequence impedance of generator A and B is J.4 ohms. Zero sequence impedance of generator A and B is J.2 ohms. Feeder positive sequence impedance is equal to negative sequence impedance is equal to 0.4 plus J.7. Zero sequence impedance of the feeder is 0.7 plus J.3 ohms. Here all are in ohms. When the two generators are connected in parallel, we have to calculate the equivalent impedance. Here the positive sequence impedance is J.6. Z1 is equal to J.6 into J.6 divided by J.6 plus J.6 that is equal to J.3 ohms. Similarly, Z2 is equal to J.4 into J.4 divided by J.4 plus J.4 that is equal to J.2. Z0 is equal to J.1 ohms. Zn is equal to J.1 into J.1 divided by J.1 plus J.1 that is equal to J.05 ohms. So the actual positive sequence, negative sequence, zero sequence impedance is positive sequence impedance of the generator plus positive sequence impedance of the feeder. That is the value of Z1. So Z1 plus Z1F, Z1G plus Z1F. That is Z1 is equal to 0.4 plus J1 ohms. Z2 is equal to that is negative sequence impedance of the generator plus negative sequence impedance of the feeder. That is equal to 0.4 plus J.9 ohms. Zero sequence impedance is equal to zero sequence impedance of the generator plus zero sequence impedance of the feeder plus 3 into EZN. So EZN is equal to J.05. Substitute all the values in this equation. Z0 is equal to 0.7 plus J 3.25 ohms. ER is equal to 11,000 by root 3 that is equal to 6350.85 volts. Now I can easily calculate IR1, IR2 and IR0. IR1 is equal to ER divided by Z1 plus Z2 into Z0 divided by Z2 plus Z0. Z2 into Z0 divided by Z2 plus Z0 is equal to 0.28 plus J.71 ohms. Therefore, IR1 is equal to, substitute all the values in this equation, this is Z1, 0.4 plus J1, this value, into 0.28 plus J.71, this is 6350.85. IR1 is equal to 6350.85 into 0.2 minus J.5 amps. IR2 is equal to minus IR1 into Z0 divided by Z0 plus Z2. I rewrite the equation that is minus IR1 divided by Z2 into Z0 into Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2. I know this value 0.28 plus J.71. Substitute all the values in this equation. IR2 is equal to minus 6350.85 into 0.17 minus J.38 amps. IR0 is equal to minus IR1 into Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2. I can rewrite the equation minus IR1 in divided by Z0 into Z0 into Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2. I know this value 0.28 plus J.71. Substitute all the values in this equation. IR0 is equal to minus 6350.85 into 0.03 minus J.12. Here IR1 plus IR2 plus IR0 is equal to 0. The question is, if a fault involves in Y and B phases, calculate the fault current. We know that fault current is equal to 3 times IR0. We know IR0. IR0 is equal to minus 190.53 plus J762.10 amps. 3 into IR0 is the fault current. That is equal to 571.59 plus J2286.3 amps. The magnitude of fault current IF is equal to 2356.67 amps. This way we have to work out this problem. 
Thanks for listening.